Cell cultures are utilised for various purposes, including studies exploring cell proliferation and the production of biologically active substances. They play a vital role in application development in research laboratories, regenerative medicine and other biotechnological production platforms. Good cell culture conditions are key to achieving reproducible results amid rising concerns about mycoplasma contamination. Mycoplasmas are a genus of bacteria that lack a cell wall, instead having a lipoprotein membrane that allows them to take on different shapes, from round to elongated. They are resistant to antibiotics and, due to their small size, can penetrate sterilizing grade filters, making them very difficult to find and eliminate within cell cultures. Mycoplasmas were first isolated from cell cultures in 1956, and since then, over 180 mycoplasma species have been identified. However, 95% of cell culture contamination is due to just six species, originating from human, bovine, and swine. Within the lab, there are numerous potential sources of mycoplasma contamination, including water baths, feeder cells, sera, used pipettes, and lab technicians themselves. Mycoplasma contamination can extensively affect cell physiology and metabolism and is prevalent in cell culture labs, risking the quality of resulting scientific data. It can inhibit protein biosynthesis and cell growth, as well as alter RNA and DNA synthesis. In cell-based therapeutics and in advanced therapy medical products, mycoplasma contamination can cause immune reactions, chromosomal aberrations, or altered proliferation characteristics. This can make the resultant therapies unsafe for use in patients. As we've learned, mycoplasma contamination is prevalent and can cause serious problems in the lab, such as loss of time and money, misleading publications, loss of cell lines, and interlab contamination. To prevent contamination, it is important to routinely and thoroughly test your cell cultures. To find out more about how to avoid mycoplasma contamination and solutions for managing it, check out our InFocus with Sartorius at www.biotechniques.com.